Do you hear that noise? It's a crack off the bat but it has after effects as the shock waves seem to move through the air faster than the speed of sound. That is because Heinrich Klaassen is facing a spinner. Poor Varun Chakravarti pitched a ball short of a length, just outside of stump. It was pretty much one of his normal deliveries, but Heinrich Klaassen hung back in the crease, waiting for the perfect moment to pounce. Klaassen finished that match with 63 from 29 balls. The spinners he faced were smashed for 33 runs from 14 of them. Nine South African batters have scored a thousand runs or more against spin in franchise T20 cricket, but none like Klaassen. For a long time, AB de Villiers was the gold standard. He averaged 42 at a strike rate of 137 with a boundary percentage of 52. Those figures pale in comparison to Klaassen who averages 49, strikes at 183, and has a boundary percentage of 67. Klaassen also has a better dot ball percentage, 24 compared to De Villiers 27. And to be fair, 27 is pretty elite as well. Klaassen has been colossal in the IPL. Compare him to De Villiers, who averages 36 from more than 100 knocks at a strike rate of 131 against spin in the league. De Villiers faced 19 deliveries for every six. His best years against tweakers were 2015 and 16. He averaged 53 and 48 and struck at 195 and 159. Klaassen is still young in his IPL career. Technically, he's been on a squad over the last four years, but he only became a regular last season. And so he has played 20 innings so far. Since the start of 2023, Klaassen hits a six every 6.1 deliveries. His average is 115. His strike rate is 200, and he has a dot ball percentage of 20. If we zoom out and compare him to everyone else, the right-hander has the second most runs against spin in the IPL in this time period, despite the fact that he doesn't face all that many balls, and no one is doing it anywhere near as quick as he is. And that is not just because he is great at smashing spin, but also because he is making up for a career of lost moments. It's as if Heinrich Klaassen is trying to score so quick against the tweakers that he can make the planet spin the other way. One way or another though, he just keeps going boom. If you need a VPN, go Nord. Use nordvpn.com forward slash Kimber to get a two year contract with a discount plus four extra months plus gifts in some markets. It's completely risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. The link is in the show notes. Protect your computer like a blocker protects the stumps with Nord VPN today. Klaassen learned to play spin in the bush. Literally, in 2001, Etienne Birkenstock turned land close to Rudy Platt Dam into a cricketing nursery. Klaassen's mother visited only a few months later. She wanted to know if Birkenstock could take on her son as a student. Willowick Academy was a dust bowl. There was barely any grass on the field or any of the pitches. Birkenstock was bootstrapping with limited resources. Unlike many of the nice private school grounds you see in South Africa, this was a rough and ready academy. There wasn't a lot of structures or support stuff. Birkenstock invited a few of his students to learn how to prepare wickets. He felt that understanding the nature of batting surfaces would actually help his students as they developed their game. Also, he probably needed the help in developing his wickets. Klaassen was one of the few kids who embraced that opportunity. The youngster spent every Wednesday afternoon attending to that task and other days of the week helping out with other chores when not training. Willowick Academy was his home away from home. Birkenstock said, Heinrich soaked up everything I told him like a sponge. He often came to help with the rolling of the eight pitches at Willowick and he never shied away from hard work on and off the field. Like any youngster, Klaassen loved batting and would have preferred to have rolled out surfaces that would have helped him. But two of his best friends were tweakers and they asked him to try and curate turning wickets. As a result, Klaassen spent a significant portion of his formative years learning how to navigate spin bowling. The turning ball is kryptonite to so many young South African batters. They massacre pace, but they collapse at the side of a tweaker with any turn off the straight. However, despite Klaassen's ability against spin, it didn't ensure a rapid rise through the system at all. 
After finishing high school, he joined Tux, the University of Pretoria's cricket team. He was studying human movement science and sports management. The institute is one of the best finishing schools in sport in South Africa, and it is a feeder for Northern's cricket, the Titan semi-pro team. And during his time there, Klaassen was part of the Namibian coach Pierre de Bruyne's all-conquering team that won a few varsity trophies. Despite an impeccable record at Tux and his match-winning performances for Northerns, at 23, Klaassen was on an amateur contract with the Titans and he was sharing a flat with Aidan Markram. Two years later, he was seriously considering whether it was worth walking away from cricket. Because at 25, it didn't look like his career was moving forward. Klaassen only persevered because Rob Walter, South Africa's current white ball coach, asked for one more year from him. Walter used Klaassen as his preferred wicketkeeper in list A and T20s, only affording him two innings in first class cricket. That season, Klaassen averaged 40 in T20 and 48 in list A, and it was enough to secure him a full-time contract for 2017. In 2018, he was already playing for South Africa, and he would go up against Kuldeep Yadav and Yuzi Chahal. In one of those matches, he scored 36 runs off 21 balls from Kuldeep and Chahal combined. And he followed that up with another masterclass at Centurion, where he scored 69 of 30, including 41 runs of 12 balls from Chahal. And this is when Klaassen should have exploded like the ball was off his bat. But between his commitments to South Africa and contracting COVID, Klaassen did not feature on the franchise circuit in 2020 or 2021. When he re-emerged the following year, he was a different cricketer. He was essentially batting like he'd lost two years of his career. And for a late blooming player, that would feel like a lifetime. So when you see him batting right now, you are literally watching a man trying to score so fast to make up for all of his lost time. He's essentially time traveling with a bat. Since the start of 2022, he is averaging 61 at a strike rate of a 196 against spin. No, I did not stutter. No other batter has been this good, probably ever. Compared to the top 15 run getters, you have to combine two players to recreate the impact of Klaassen, Andre Fletcher and Glenn Maxwell. But of course, Klaassen doesn't just destroy spinners. He also takes down pace. Since 2022, he has struck 57 sixes and 78 fours at an average of 40 and a strike rate of 173 against seamers in franchise cricket. He might prefer spin, but he's still hammering pace. And think about this, the IPL has the world's best cricketers batting in the middle order. Many of them raised on spinning wickets, but none have been as prolific as Klaassen has since 2023. He has the most runs, best average, and highest strike rate compared to the other top 10 run getters batting number four, five, and six. Again, this is just all facts. On true numbers, Klaassen has been a massive plus on both average and strike rate. He's making 32 more runs than expected on a plus 24 strike rate over what an average player would do if they went in in the same situation. And if we thought he was incredible last year, and we did, and we were right, so far he's looking on course to go even beyond that level. This is a man who does not really believe in easing himself in or slowing down. The only time he strikes at less than 150 is the fourth ball of his innings. He crosses the 10 runs per over mark in only his eighth delivery, and he continues to keep it above that throughout the course of his innings. When compared with the average batter, he continues to strike at a much better rate from the start until the end. He races out of the blocks, and even at his worst, his true strike rate is still 10 points higher than anyone else on any ball he faces. And the best part is that not only is he an elite boundary hitter, but he has also been brilliant at non-boundary strike rates. Only anchor-type batters like Derek Coley, Shubman Gill, and Roderage Guyquad are better at it than him. Boundary hitters like Sky and Jaiswal are nowhere near Klaassen when it comes to rotating the strike. And of course, we don't have his power play stats on this graph because he's only faced 18 balls without getting out so far, so there's really not a lot to go on. But he is obviously destructive at the death but he's had a significant impact in the middle overs as well. The rest of the Sunrisers did not exactly bring their bats last year, but they've had a terrific start to this season, breaking RCB's record for the most runs ever in an IPL innings. But when it comes to Klaassen, we can see that he's a lot better when he's batting first. His chasing record looks like a pale shadow compared to that. And maybe a batter like him just prefers to whack it around when the possibilities are endless. Though, he can give teams quite the scare when chasing, as KKR. And let's just reiterate everything that we've talked about here. This is a man who learned how to bat against spin by doctoring his own pitches. 
he almost left cricket to pursue a career in the corporate world. He was an amateur when he probably should have been a pro, and just when he was getting to his best, he didn't play much franchise cricket. And yet, in a very brief time, he's joined an incredibly exclusive club. He is the dream every T20 side craves. A middle order finisher who scores at breakneck speeds and yet is difficult to get out, who can smash spin and also still hammer pace. Heinrich Klaassen is making up for lost time by scoring quicker against the slow ball than anyone ever has. That noise you just heard? It was either a sonic boom or another Klaassen 6. A lot of people complain that I'm not a former cricketer and so that I don't really know the game. Well, you know what they can't claim? Then I don't know desks. I've been using desks for years. I'm a collector of desks, old and new, and I'm sitting on a new one right now. I'm the Don Bradman of sitting at desks. So when I tell you that the E7 Pro next generation height adjustable desk from FlexiSpot is legit, this is like Michael Jordan talking to you about sneakers. This desk holds 160 kilograms. It is as stable as anything I've ever seen, and it has under desk cable management. But really, the main skill here is that this desk rises and falls at the push of a button and it moves super quick. And it has so many settings that remember your favorite heights. It really does it all. And I could not recommend the E7 Pro from FlexiSpot anymore. Even though I am currently sitting on one of FlexiSpot's BS12 Pro multifunctional adjustable upgraded fabric ergonomic chairs. My butt and computer have never been happier than when using one of FlexiSpot's products. So get over to their page right now for big savings.